very good morning and very good afternoon to beta sir uh, and good afternoon to monos pani singapore mata good afternoon bhaisi ke namaskar sabai sir madam haru ar me vidyarthi har lai ra aaja ko chai karyakram ko bare ma chai hamile chai hamlai tha bhai sakya cha machine ra chai humans ko beech ma dwandwa ma chai ko agadi parla bhanne kuro kai sero sero ma rakhera chai hami aaja bahas garchau ra yo alikati hamro alikati farak type ko cha hamro yo modality tesko bare ma ma alikati charcha garchu र सबभन्दा पहिले म अब हामी अब समयलाई गरेर म अलिक स्क्रिन शेयर गर्छु त्यसपछि अनि म यो यो देखियो स्क्रिन देखियो हैन देखिरहेछ देखियो देखियो ओके अ यो चाहिँ हाम्रो यसै थीममा क्यान मेसिन्स विथ ह्युमन्स को उसमा चाहिँ म आज चाहिँ आई एम योर मोडरेटर टुडे सो आई एम भेरी मच लाइक अनर टु बी द मोडरेटर एन्ड दिस टपिक कैन मेसिन्स विथ द ह्युमन्स भन्ने कुरामा त त्यो भन्नु भन्दा पहिले म अलिकति केही कुराहरू राख्नको लागि हाम्रो मास्टर हाम्रो मास्टरको स्टुडेन्ट मिस्टर जेन बर्टीलाई साथै नियमहरू जस्तो पुट अफ योर माइक्रोफोन यस्तो यस्तो भनेको राख्नको लागि म दुई मिनेट चाहिँ आई जस्ट गिभ दिस माइक्रोफोन टु मिस्टर जेन बर्टी ओके थ्याङ्क यू सो मच मनिष सर वेलकम अल uh well i would like to request everyone to follow some rules for today's session and uh please turn off your microphone when you are not speaking and in case if you have any queries or suggestion moderator will give you time to put your views and queries and for that just press the raise hand icon on the screen and please do display your genuine real name i repeat please do display your genuine real name and last we are speaking it's better to turn on your videos as well thank you so much over to you manish sir thank you thank you very much mr chenpe thank you very much for the your uh, brilliance uh, and okay so let me begin so i not because i am not the main speakers of today's event because we have to we have to listen from the speakers view uh rajain this le gada kheri very good morning and namaskar र पहिले चाहिँ अनरेबल फर्मर मिनिस्टर इन्जिनियर गणेश शाह सर फर योर भ्यालुएबल टाइम आई डू नो दैट यू आर भेरी मच अकुपाइड विथ अल अदर थिंग्स बट यू हेभ मैनेज योर टाइम टु बी विथ अस थ्याङ्क यू भेरी मच गणेश शाह सर एन्ड अल द स्पीकर्स टुडे हु विल बी स्पीकिङ अन देयर थट वेदर द मेसिन क्यान रूल ओभर द ह्युमन्स आर नट और स्टिल देयर आर सम वे टु गो भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ जुन हामी स्पीकर्सहरुको बारेमा अलि पछि पनि भन्दछु त्यसपछि अर्को all the respected participants participants you bane bane ra 10 baje ra khana wala pani compromise gare ra chai yo participants ai dinu bhayeko ma ma dherai aabhar vyakta garna chahanchu swadesh ra videsh bada pani aa chai hamro chai ved sir chai japan bada hununcha hamro manoj sakya sir singapore bada hununcha aru pani korea bada pani join hune mali samachar payeko chu tesai garda kiri yo bahira bada pani join hunu bhayeko ma ma sabai sir haru lai ma feri aabhar vyakta garna chahanchu ra त्यस थ्याङ्क यू फर जोइनिङ एस र आजको मोरालिटीको बारेमा अहिले मैले भनेको थिएँ म पछि भन्दछु भनेको बारे भनेको हुनाले लेट मी एक्सप्लेन द मोरालिटी अफ आवर टुडे प्रोग्राम बट बिफोर द्याट लेट मी टेक एन अपर्चुनिटी टु इन्ट्रोड्युस आवर स्पिकर हाम्रो स्पिकर्सलाई हामीले दुईवटा भागमा बाँडेको छौँ ग्रुप ए ग्रुप एले के गर्छ के भन्छ भन्दाखेरि हो मेसिनले ह्युमनलाई जित्छ है यसरी चाहिँ एक्सपोनेन्सियली टेक्नोलोजी चाहिँ चाहिँ सुटअप भइरहेको बेलामा आज नभए त पनि केही केही वर्षपछि चाहिँ मेसिनले चाहिँ ह्युमनलाई चाहिँ कन्ट्रोल गर्छ भन्ने कुरोको लिएर चाहिँ हामीसँग हुन्छ मिस नेहा साख्य नेहा साख्य मिस्टर आशिष आचार्य दिपेन्द्र पन्त जेन बटी एन्ड मिस्टर सुवर्ण श्रेष्ठ र मिस्टर सुशान्त पौडेल ग्रुप एमा र सबै बोलौँ न उहाँबाट उहाँले एउटा लिडर चाहिँ सिलेक्ट गर्नुभएको छ त्यो ग्रुप एबाट एउटा लिडरले अथवा कहिले कहिले चाहिँ अर्को चाहिँ सब लिडरले पनि चाहिँ आफ्नो कुराहरू राख्नुहुन्छ त्यो चाहिँ ग्रुप बीमा मिस्टर उदय कर्जो उहाँले उहाँले चाहिँ के भन्नुहुन्छ भने होइन अलिक धेरै बाँकी छ यो दिस इज अलि स्टिल पिपल आर टकिङ एबाउट हो दिस सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स अफ साइन्स हो हो कि फिक्सन हो भन्ने कुरामा विवाद हुँदाखेरि धेरै कुराहरू गर्न बाँकी छ भन्ने कुरोको लिएर चाहिँ ग्रुप बी को मिस्टर उदय कडेल र मिस्टर रुपेश दाहाल सुमन श्रेष्ठ रितेश बोरा सैनी सुनील रेग्मी उहाँहरूले चाहिँ दे विल बी टकिङ अबाउट इन द्याट पार्ट सो लेट्स लिसन फ्रम देम 
तेज पश्चिम हम लोग व्यू आरु चाहिए मिला रख सो रो ये शेड्यूल में लिया बनिया लिया मौ चाहिए हम लोग चाहिए मंजु जोलाई जी अलग दी माइक्रोफोन दिन वाला पहले मौ एक बार पांचू तेज पश्चिम मौ जोलाई चाहिए आगर रख सो रो तेज पश्चिम चाहिए हमें चाहिए स्पीकर लाई फोर दिन सो रो चाहिए पार्टिसिपेंट्स है रो यो चाहिए अलग दी यो चाहिए हम and Manu Satya, he's working uh, as a PhD candidate at Nanang Technology University. Just as all participants, all balls are unza or HOD sir. Just as all us sir, all they unza yeh. Ke waar sabhi view aur aur navra sir pani aur join hude unza kare. So waar kubani view hai milin so. Last ma chahi hamro concluding remarks ra yeh sabhi view aur aur life samay te ra chahi prastut karna ko lagi ma hamro department head Dr. Balkrishna Paul sir life ma fir aagun gosto. Aile hai na last ma. अच्छे से गौर से तो र तू मेले चाहिए हम लोग मंच जुलाई माइक्रोफोन को लागे आग्रह करने बंदा अगर ही सो किक ऑफ स्टेटमेंट के उन्हें सब सब देख ली अलग तो किक ऑफ अत आइस ब्रेकिंग पने में पहले ऐसेरी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को पूरा करता अत सुपर इंटेलिजेंस को पूरा करता खेली अलिप बिस्तोलाई � इक्वेटर ले दी बाग में नॉर्थ अंडर हेमिस्फेयर में बाहर आया तो तो इलेक्ट्रिक मार्च दिख तल बाहर दिया था पूर्वी एशिया को एक उड़े थॉर्स और पश्चिम मुल्क और अमेरिका के अंदर और को थॉर्स और ये वंचन बने सुपर इंटेलिजेंस संभव था आज नौ बीन आम तो दस वर्षा बीस वर्षा बनेरा चाहिए � ये वाला पुलिस ब्रिटिश मैथमेटिक्स से ले 1965 में नहीं वाले इंटेलिजेंट एक्सपोज़न बने हुए तो हम क्वाइन गनु बगौरे सा तो सही रिकॉर्सिव सेल्फ इंप्रूवमेंट रैपिडली लीडिंग तू द इंटेलिजेंस बने रहो वाले ऑयली कोई ना पुराना 1965 में भाई को पूरा हो रहा तो ऑयली इले गधा मंच वाला कहा� सिंह करे कोरियन चे लीस टेडर लाइ गो गेम मा पाँच गेम चे हराई सके पच अन्य मानचे को वो यो जिसे बिग ब्रेक थ्रू बने करा चाहिए यो चे इंटरनेशनल एक्सप्लोर जो जून करा चाहिए 1965 में बने कुत्ते तो अब वो आई रहा सब बने करा ले बड़ी चाहिए मोटिवेटर इनकॉरेज बैकअप से नले आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलि� very august gathering like all these participants like please put this try to get the answer i mean why are we superior to animals humans rule what speciality that we do have the entire globe like i mean just what are the challenges being the humans in the age of artificial intelligence दूसरा क्वेश्चन पनी आया है सोचिए रहो वाला फिर क्वेश्चन वाले ये क्वेश्चन सोचें ना ये तार दैन न दिन वाले हैं ना मेरा आग्रह था दूसरी तरह अरे चाहिए जस्ट बच्चे इधर सा साइंस और फिक्शन सुपर इंटेलिजेंस क्यों होता साइंस और भी फिक्शन हो अन्य लोगों को नहीं करूं अरे अब चाहिए मलाई लेट मी अलाउ टू स्टार्ट द मेन इवेंट र मेले चाहिए अब मंची जुलाई चाहिए पहले चाहिए यार को चाहिए वेलकम रिमार्क्स रहा है मेला चाहिए पेड़ा दिने चाहिए को लागी बहुत तो बहुत को लागी यार आई चाहिए आग्रह करना चांस हो अजब माइक्रोफोन तू ही हो अजब मंजू लो धन्यवाद सुनिंजा 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 लो सब अब हमरो सबे मोस्टली गुरु जन्ने बन्चु मेले मनीषी पालाजी अब ये सबे देरी जना उन्चो और तेज बच्ची फ्यूचर गुरु उस बनो गुरु हमारो लगी हरु लाई पानी किने बने ये नेपाल में ले टीचिंग प्रोफेशन में जो कम जाना कोच्चा में ले चाहे जन टीचिंग प्रोफेशन में उच्च कोटि को में चारु जाने पोर्सो � कैन मशीन बीट ह्यूमन बने विषय में जो न्यू कार्य के हम रखने हैं तो इसमें सब पर जान ले माले बोलने जो अनुरोध करने वाले को मैं हार्दिक धन्यवाद बोलते करना चाहते हैं और माले जो कहाँ बैठे शुरू करने में अब जो आज को 20 दिन पहुँचे होला आज को तीस गते हो 30 दशों के आरे इसलिए एक असोच र यो आठ वर्ष में चाहे इमेलेज दें इले जो कोविड को पनी वर्षो पहले क्या है अब यंग जनरेशन ले सोचते हो बने व्हेन वाज़ द कोविड ईयर बने र बने बने अब 19 बने कि 20 बने 
ไนน์ทีนวันชินมาสุดรู้บ่เอ่อเป็นดามิกบ่เป็นดามิกบ่รัฐโยบายละมาออร์โกเกียบบ่สัมบันดาทุลโลเมื่อวันนี้จะน่
त्यो लेवल को इंटरनेशनल लेवल को तेल को लेवल अफ एजुकेशन भी वर्ल्ड क्लास एजुकेशन बा हम कम से कम हम गुरु टीचर्स प्रोफेसर साहब अल वर्ल्ड ट्रेन्ड्स के कता जैसे संदर्भ में मनीष सर ने भे थे कि यो मशीन र्यूमेन को कन्फ्लिक्ट होता खेल अब मलिक ट्रेड यूनियन को पुरानो इतिहास हे यो नया मशीन बना वर्कर बाच्थ्य क्योंकि उसे इंप्लाइमेंट खाने वाले तो बेला तो थी अब अलग के मानेह मशीन मेक्स योर लाइफ इजी तर इट मे क्रिएट यू द प्रब्लम अल्सो अलग भर ए सीम्पल तब को फेसबुक ने कति सुसाइड कति सेक्सुअल एब्यूज कति हरासमेंट हर को कुरो तब भोलियो कुरो हो कि तेल भोलि आने आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को अब लाइफ कस्त हो हम मशीन ने हमी चला कि हमी मशीन चला कि अब अलग कहीं आँच कि बच्चा नजन्मा अब बीहे भी मशीनसंग करने कुरो उठी रहे लाइफ पार्टनर ने तो बनाने भाई कुरो उठ एथिक्स अफ द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को बारे में यूनेस्को ने ड्राफ्ट पेश माहे मनीष सर शायद पठाई दिया थे पहले अगेन एंड वी कैन डिस्कस एबाउट द एथिक्स अफ द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस नेपाली संदर्भ में कस्तो हो रो आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को डेवलपमेंट होने बितिक हम डिजिटल डिभाइड जन बढ़ने हो कि भाई मैं लगी रखे हमी हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू तो डिजिटल डिभाइड लाइक कसरी काम करना को लगी हम जो सर हो विद्यार्थी पढ़ा खेल अलिकता जहाँ हम सोसाइटी संगे लिंक कर टेक्नोलॉजी साइंस हम तल ते हम यंग जेनरेशन अलिकता आप नलेज ग्रासरूट में कहीं न कहीं गए एक्सपेरिमेंट कर एजुकेशन मैं एट पॉलिसी एट सेकेंड इज एजुकेशन इज ए बिग चैलेंज क्योंकि तब करिकुलम बनाने पे अनुसार को इंटेक में विद्यार्थी भरना तो अनुसार को इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाने पो हम सुपर कंप्यूटर चलिया कि बस आई डोट नो हो कि तर तस्त खाल जो होल जो वर्ल्ड क्लास एजुकेशन दिने लास्टली के टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन लाउ यू अप्लाई इसलिए इसको एप्लीकेशन हम प्क्टिकल लाइफ में कह कह होता वेयर इज द यूज अफ द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन आवर लाइफ नेपाली सोसाइटी लाइफ तेल हमीपर् मैं लगे पुनः हम बौद्धिक समुदाय में हम यंग जेनरेशन संग जो अंतरक्रिया संवाद तब इसमें पुनः जोर चाहूँ मशीन भाग मथि जे मं होने ह्यूमेन फिलिंग्स ह्यूमेन ह्यूमेन जो भानवीय पक्ष लाइन अजी खेल मैंने इस प्रोत्साहित नहीं पर्चे हम मानवीयता भो मानव संस्कृति यहाँ किप इन माइंड भ्याल में राखे नहीं हमी बना हम ये फिर उन्नीस सौ शताब्दी तीर मशीन भादा खेल तोर्ने पोर्ने होने कि इसको एडप्टेडिटीज कसरी बनाने इसको मिसयूज बा कसरी रोक्ने इसको सिक्युरिटी अलग आईसिटी में हम कुरो हमें ये सिक्युरिटी को कुरो जो हम उठा हो कि तेगरी अब आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को प्रमोशन संगसंगे मैं लग मोरल एजुकेशन्स को आवश्यकता हो कमिंग डेज में हाउ मोरली यू आर डुइंग जैसे भर अंपल तो डाटा को कुरो सान सान कुरो में भोलि जब बिग डाटाज को कुरो कर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सटेनली गोइंग टू एलट अफ डाटाज तेल यूज अफ द बिग डाटाज तिसयूज कर दून भो इंपैक्ट बेग्ल होती पुनः संपूर्ण सहभागी हम मनीष सर हम टीम लुनः अभिवादन नमस्कार कर दी मिता लिंचु धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू हजार थैंक यू धेरे प्रेरणादायक यहाँ ले भन्न भो रो हमें अब आऊदा दिन को चुनौती सामना करना को लगी नहीं हमें ये विद्यार्थी वर्ग हम प्रोत्साहन कर खोजे रब को आऊदा दिन का समस्या अथवा चुनौती समाधान करने का हमें है ये विद्यार्थी हुना ये विद्यार्थीक प्रयास आज को कार्यक्रम हम गई रख रि अब कार्यक्रम में सुरू कर चाहूँ फिर अगि के रहा मैं हेमपाल सर देखा हेमपाल सर प्लीज वेलकम नमस्कार सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग थैंक यू एंड वेरी नाइस डिस्कशन थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू हेमपाल सर 
Okay, so you, uh, so let me allow to move ahead. So your question to my lady, I'm sure you know, I'm going to agra a very good thing. I'm you say respected all these participants, uh, like the hour. Over most of the time, what are the main pilot question? Uh, what are the first questions to the uh, the group? You know, you say your question say, can machine be a human? When the pilot, I'm the team, K. Usmach, the first questions goes to the group A. Uh, like a let's listen from you. Uh, this party. Uh, group A le bani sakhe pachi group B ko exam le thei that questions ko baare ma kei tippani gornu chha ta ki suggestion gornu chha bani that goes to the automatically to the group B. Okay, now the floor is your speaker. Okay, group A. Uh, thank you very much for the question, Manish sir. Uh, on behalf of group A, I would like to start with uh, one side of the coin. We have those like SpaceX founder Elon Musk. Uh, Microsoft founder Bill Gates and physicist Stephen Hawking who worry that AI will bring an end to end humanity, which indirectly means machine will beat human. While at the other end of the coin, we have those like Alibaba founder and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg who believes AI will improve humanity and don't see any risks with AI, which indirectly means machine will not beat humans. And in my views, I would like to go with Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Stephen Hawking. That machine can definitely beat humans. And to support my view, I want to put forward some outbreaking development in the field of AI. It was in the year 1996, IBM created a computer system that beat a chess grandmaster for the first time. And a clear example is the recent report of the Google DeepMind project, that is AlphaGo software. Uh, we're known for defeating Lee Seidel, the world champion in the game of Go, and uh, which can learn without human intervention is considered to be one of the most significant development in the field of AI. Uh, development of voice recognition system like Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Apple Siri uses AI to learn what the most suitable answer to our question might be. And we have also heard news regarding Facebook shutting down AI system after two boards started setting, creating their own language, which human can understand, which can be considered as an alarming threat to a human. And Oxford professor Nick Boston believes at some point we will create machine that are super intelligence. And there are much more to come in the coming years with, with more improvements and development and governance. And with this level of development and speed, there is no doubt that machine can definitely beat human. It is just a matter of Time and budget. Thank you very much. Over to you, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Janbati, for your remarkable answers. And just you have given a very good examples, like as I have said before, like the two school of thought, Ellen Musk and this other, and Jack Man. Others. Okay, now the same thing. Like I like to have a view from the group B. So we'll be talking about from the group B. Uh, so uh, I think Mr. Rupesh Dal. So I know. Oh, am I right? Yes, <laughs> okay. So do you agree, like uh, what just now uh, Mr. Janbrati has said, like uh, do you agree that the machine can beat the humans or if not, what is your idea or what is your thought? Can you please highlight? Mm, thank you, sir. Thank you for questions. And thank you, uh, Honorable Minister. Thank you everyone for participating, giving me this opportunity to speak. And. Uh, um, as uh, my colleague said, Jen, colleague said that uh, a machine has developed its intelligence throughout the time. But before comparing a machine to a human, we need to know about the human evolution first, because uh, human evolution started from 4.5 billion year, years of ago, and at the dawn of a life beginning, there was a there was a single cell that developed throughout the time to what we are now. And the brain was, at the beginning of the evolution, the brain was the size of a grain, small grain. And the evolution suggests that the, as we go throughout the time, our human body has the capability to increase the size of its brain and increase its capacity, increase its, increase its intelligence throughout the time. 
but we are just comparing intelligence in the sense of computational power we says that computer can um, calculate the two times five in just a fraction of a second and human cannot do that is not supposed to be an intelligence that is just not an intelligence that is a part of intelligence but that doesn't mean it's all intelligence but we know that human because what human have been all doing throughout the time is that they have only the survival instinct throughout the time they only know about surviving they don't know about computation they don't have to know about computation they don't need to worry about what maths works what maths doesn't work they only need how we get food how do we survive how to how to actually if you thought deeper inside that we know that humans survived the great great disaster that wipe out the uh, biggest food chain that is dinosaurs in that period of time the, at that time human just survived human also survived the cold age time ice age time and human survived throughout 4.5 billions of years of time that's not a short period of time then that, that's um, shows that the complexity and the engineering suppose human is a is a machine then it is that that much complex machine that knows how to survive that has only instinct of surviving not computation so to compare human and machine in just a sense of computational power is not quite it ready or quite not be feasible so that's my point and thank you sir for Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I think uh, Mr. Mr. Dipendra Pant also uh, would like to add something in this point. Please, Dipendra Pant, please. Thank you, sir. Please. So basically, I would like to tell that as Mr. Rupesh raised the question that machine are only able to uh, solve computational problem. I uh, I don't agree with that uh, to some part because if you like see some of the state are state of the art example like in 2014 a chatbot named Eugene Gooseman. it uh, passed tuning test so basically it uh, it fooled 33% of the jaws that it is a uh, human so that's a great example of a machine beating human similarly in 2018 as you may have heard about google duplex google duplex built uh, like passed tuning test in a specific gen genera that is all in appointment booking so similarly how much time would you take to solve a rubik cube i believe more than a minutes or more than a 30 second but there is a intelligent system that can solve a rubik cube problem in 0.3 second can you imagine 0.3 seconds and similarly like you may have studied calculus in your uh, undergrad and in schools how much difficulty you pose in solving those problems but there is a intelligent system developed by facebook ai institute that can solve calculus problem better than human so these are my points that it's not about computational it's more than that thank you sir thank you thank you dipend upon thank you very much for this uh, for adding some extra uh, attributes for saying thank you very much thank you very much so now let me move ahead so we have another question uh so this was the questions and very good debate uh, very good argument between the two groups and the question the next question is again to the group a is a super intelligence possible because people are still reluctant people are still they have the doubt there's a huge state of ambiguity that uh, yes there's super intelligence is not possible right so do you think this super intelligence is possible if yes when right if yes when and will it happen in our life or in the next generation or after 100 years so what is what is your idea to group a so this uh, for the group a again thank you sir thank you for the question sir so i strongly believe that we can attain a super intelligence in the near future so before diving into super intelligence i would like to highlight some of the examples which my friends have already highlighted but i would like to highlight one of the main uh, one of the uh, important example that is the example of alphago it is a computer program which uh, plays the game a board game a chinese board game uh, which call, it is called go and it was developed by google's deep mind and it defeated the world's champion of go in 2017 so this is one of the remarkable event and is also regarded as the sputnik moment for in ai for china by kai kai fuli so this was the beginning of the era of deep learning and reinforcement learning and 
it is an inspiration for all other technologies that have followed. Even though this was done in a very specific domain, that is only in the domain of a, a board game called Go, but it can be regarded as a huge step towards attaining the human level intelligence in machines. Human level artificial intelligence means that the attainment of intelligence in machines that is comparable to humans and super intelligence goes beyond that. It refers to the intelligent explosion and reaches beyond the current capacity of humans. Niels Nielsen, a pioneer in robotics and AI, predicted that 10% of uh, human level uh, in the artificial intelligence would be attained by 2030, 50% by 2050, and 90% uh, by, by the end of the century, that is 2100. So once this uh, human level intelligence is attained, then it would soon be followed by super intelligence as the growth rate would be quite exponential. So another pioneer, uh, Ray Kurzweil, uh, who is an inventor and futurist at Google, also predicted that uh, by, the, by the end of 2029, artificial general intelligence would be attained and uh, singularity or the super intelligence would follow soon after uh, like uh, in a certain decade, uh, after a certain decades, uh, two or three decades, that is uh, by 2040. So in the book, uh, Super Intelligence, which was written by Nick Bostrom, he also presents some of the paths through which uh, super in intelligence could be uh, achieved, which builds our confidence that super intelligence would be attained by one way or the other. The It could be attained through artificial intelligence that I have already mentioned by the intelligent machines uh, we, who are imitating the uh, who imitates the human brain. It could be done by the whole brain emulation, that is by co closely uh, imitating the uh, computational power of our brain, or it could be done by biological cognition. It could be done based on the genetic uh, selection to enhance the functioning of our brain. Uh, another would be through a brain computer interface, that is by implanting some chips on human brains to increase our capability. Another is through a network organization that is uh, by not just enhancing one individual, but by enhancing as a collection but that is leading to a collective super intelligence. Any way there's any path that could be, uh, could be taken for super intelligence, but uh, one way or the other, it is possible. And uh, most probably it, is, it will be obtained through uh, synthetic, uh, synthetic intelligence or artificial intelligence. The pace might be uh, might vary, or it may be uh, it may take off slowly, or it may be fast, or it may be at a, a moderate rate, but it we will reach to that point. This book uh, that I have talked about, Super Intelligence, it also mentions that the path should be taken in a very uh, cautious manner, and we should be well prepared for the intelligence explosion and uh, the preparations that we need to do should be very cautious and we should be do it we should do it in a very careful and uh, thorough manner and uh, i would like to conclude my words by saying uh, by quoting nick bostrom when, from the same book that when he remarks that uh, by the end of this century we would have made 100 years worth of mistakes learning along the way and thus preparing for the future that is the super intelligence thank you so much Thank you, thank you, Ms. Naf, for brilliant this uh, argument and very this good thought. And yes, uh, Professor Nick Bostrom is a professor from the Oxford uh, in UK, and he has written a very good book that you have uh, just referred, the Super Intelligence. Yes, so he's very much optimistic, as you have said, like about the Super Intelligence will be there. Thank you very much. So now the another group, uh, Group B. So do you have anything to say? So group B, this, again, this questions whether super intelligence is there or not. So Rupesh, so again, okay, Rupesh. Thank you, thank again, you, sir. Microphone to you. Uh, thank you, Nea, Ms. Nea, for this great argument. Uh, actually, before uh, arguing about it, uh, does computer get, will be a super intelligence, we need to know what intelligence means. What do we, how do we define intelligence? How do we know what is intelligence, what is not intelligence? Uh, do we think a child uh, that can understand some phrases like they can interpret their phrases as small phrases if you tell them some story and they understand it they manipulate it they take something out of it and they make something out of it that is intelligence 
or doing a complex like uh, Dipendra Dai said, uh, a computer can uh, solve a polynomial function in just a split of a second. Does that mean intelligence? What is actual intelligence? But uh, to counter the machine can be intelligence, super intelligence, is that uh, there was a uh, project uh, uh, done in MIT uh, to make a general intelligence of a four year old child. And uh, to that, that was done in the, uh, in the frame of uh, Minsky's ideas of frame. And uh, they made a general intelligence of a four year old child. And uh, to, to test that uh, machine, they gave that uh, machine a simple story, like a four year old child, uh, what what four old child, old child could get from that story, and that was very interesting story. And I would like to say that story. Uh, so the story begins as it's Jack's birthday, birthday, and uh, it's Jack's birthday, and Mary and Jane are the friend of Jack's, and they are going to Jack's house. And Jane says, "Let's take him a kite." And Mary says, "No, he has already got one. He will make you take it back." So this was a simple story, and. What could you, what could computer take it out of it? And when you say they Mary and Jane are going to Jack's house and it's Jack's birthday, then you can conclude that, machine can conclude that it's Jack's birthday party. And they are saying that let's take him a kite, then kite should be a uh, gift, birthday gift. And the problem comes it comes in this last phrase. No, he has already got, already got one. He will make you take it back. What does that it means? It is very ambiguous in the sense of computer. But for your child, well, if you ask a four-year-old child what it means that, so she, she, he or she will say, uh, it means that the new, you should take the new one back, not the old one, because you cannot take the old one back. But computer doesn't know that. Computer thinks uh, old kite is same and new kite is still same. You don't know where to put that uh, idea on which frame. You don't put that in the, uh, shopping mall frame or you don't put that in a birthday frame. You don't know where to put that frame. It, it frame, it does that old, you need to take old one back or new one back. You don't know where to put that frame and that, that creates an ambiguity within the system. And uh, just talking about it, what it means. If it is a hundred rupees uh, note, then Jack might take hundred rupees note. He will take hundred rupees note, but he can't, he will not take kite. Maybe he could take cookies, maybe he could take a chocolate, or maybe he could, he could take other thing, but he will not take, take car or something that he already has. You don't know, we don't know where to put that frame in our intelligence system. We don't know what that it means. Why, where to put it, where to conclude that it and where to get the idea of it is a very, that comes from our intuition that is very uh, well defined by a uh, very uh, great uh, philosopher, John Serial. That he's a great philosopher. He talks about the intuition and consciousness. And he said that those kind of idea, it comes within our system. We don't know where it comes uh, come, come out from. And we don't know how we get that idea, how we calculate that. So maybe we are going in the wrong direction, thinking that a, a small piece of transistor that runs on zeros and ones will get that intuition or consciousness. Maybe we are going with the wrong direction or maybe we need to go some other direction so that we can create a consciousness. So that's my point. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I think again, the depends upon the, he wants to add something. Please, uh, Mr. Dipendra Panta, please. Yes. Okay, thank you, Rupesh, for your valuable thoughts. So basically, you stated an example of a project that was undertaken by a graduate student in MIT who is failed, but it was an igniting point to uh, work on the research in the field of consciousness. So basically, as it was nearly in 1960s, I believe, but now it's 2020 and there are various ways that can be used to create consciousness and common sense that you were arguing. And there is a method called neural correlates of consciousness. So basically, it's like uh, biological cognition where you split your brain into small parts and then map each and every neurons to create a mechanical brain. And by ma mapping the movements of neuron in the brain, you can create an artificial brain that can have uh, like consciousness, common sense and all those things. So, the, so these are my points that there is a way through which we can achieve that thing in biology till now. 
Thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So before I go to the Mr. Rupesh Dal again, so I think Mr. Suman Sesta has raised the hand. Sorry, Suman Sesta. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. In my point of view, yes, uh, we can may get the super intelligence bot like like in AlphaGo. It is only focused for a one certain game. It know the all the prediction way how we, it can be moved and what will be the next step. But if we think about uh, if th that same machine give to play the chess, it, it may be defect or it cannot play. So that I think yes, we can make the uh, right now we have the super digits in a one certain field. But for a general, we cannot say that uh, overall uh, it can uh, do the all super intelligence work at a single time by our same machine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Suman. Okay, now. Okay, Mr. Susan Paul, yes, please. Oh, uh, good morning, everyone. So, I, what I would like to add now is the uh, thing Mr. Rupes has told about uh, the intelligent being uh, not able to process the uh, uh, word "it." Uh, as we can, we know everyone know that uh, we are working towards natural language processing in which uh, we are able to uh, analyze the words and sentences and. Uh, devise a some kind of summary which will uh, help uh, in decision making. So there are different fields, uh, different scientists are working on differently on uh, uh, fields like natural language processing to identify the words spoken by some person. And, and another, uh, we can say that uh, to be in the physical world, there are uh, to understand the language, there is OCR to understand the uh, human emotion, there are different uh, fields. Uh, uh, one example is Microsoft's uh, cognitive API, which can also identify the human emotions by the facial expressions they are making. So uh, what I'm uh, about to imply is that uh, to get to the super intelligence, there are many resources going on, and we are just on the uh, you know, following the path uh, many resources have uh, put us uh, on it. So uh, what my point is that yes, super intelligence is possible because there are different kinds of resource and integrating all these resource together, we can form an intelligent uh, being which is able to get to the point where super intelligence is possible. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Susan. Okay, so uh, I'll go to the uh, very good uh, argument, very good thought. And so I'll go to the next question. So let me allow to share my screen. So then I'll come to Mr. Rupesh Dahal again. Uh, like this was, uh, this was our question before. And now the next is, we talk about a lot about intelligence and you also have very clearly said about uh, super intelligence and still some challenges that we, we do have right now. So now, do you think like we have to go for the AGI or do you think like we still have to do a lot in ANI? Like artificial gender intelligence is just like a human level intelligence. So do we spend our time, our effort to go for the AGI or there are still, there are many unsolved, the mystery of the narrow intelligence. So do you think like which has to be uh, uh, preferred, which has to be given high priority, like AGI or ANI, or we have to go both at the same time? I repeat the questions. There's a very short ANI artificial narrow intelligence. So do we go for artificial narrow intelligence or it is okay, there's ANI, but we have to go for the AGI also. So what do you think this question goes to group A and AGI or ANI or both? This is the question. Yes, group A. Uh, thank you, Manish, sir, for uh, such a wonderful question. Uh, before uh, going to the main question, it's just an, let's talk about the argument. Uh, I have quoted one quote from Mark Zuckerberg. What he has told is, if you are arguing against AI, then you are arguing against the safer cars. Means the cars which is being, uh, which are being safer day by day, uh, safer cars that aren't going to have accidents at all. Means 
it is not possible it is not possible for just he further quoted that i just don't see how good consign uh, don't see how in good conscience some people can do that means uh, in human accident is quite um, it is not so common but we can say it is uh, uh, it is just happening thing while we are going towards uh, any destination but in ai if there is some development then there are lots of thing there, there are lots of thing in ai which can be done uh, more precisely more uh, means on, uh, giving the 100% result so now coming into agi or an ani uh, just i want to clear that these are these are just the labels of uh, uh, artificial intelligence ani the artificial uh, artificial uh, narrow intelligence the agi artificial general intelligence just uh, what we are talking about is asi also that is artificial super intelligence and one tom while uh, searching uh, about these i found that there is one label of ai that is gray goo i think many have heard or not gray goo it is the um, it is normally the hypothetical end of the world that is esophagic level what it happens in this is there will be multiple robots which will be replicating themselves and they will be losing the biomasses of the biomasses of uh, the earth and uh, at the end there will only be the robots or uh, uh, robots or artificial intelligence that will be in the real world now let's come to ani artificial narrow network yeah there are, there are lots of example for ani previously uh, my group leader uh, jen bati also told about the uh, rank brain from google uh, siri by uh, apple alexa by uh, Amazon, IBM, Watson—they all are the example of artificial neural network. There are there are lots of uh, things which are happening on AI, and this is just the straightforward. Uh, although there are lots of research being going on, this is just the straightforward thing where we will be knowing about the uh, artificial narrow intelligence. Means in uh, in the book Super Intelligence, Nick Bostrom also to coined a term about the seed AI. what seed ai actually doing is seed ai is just uh, the thing means uh, just uh, i took an uh, an example that from the mango seed only the mango is uh, responsible to grow uh, not others means uh, in seed ai also the narrow intelligence is just that thing from one if you learn uh, teach robot to do one thing then he is only responsible to do one thing now let's come over the artificial general intelligence why it is important then later on i will compare these and why which one is more efficient i will talk about it artificial general intelligence just talk about the uh, more powerful uh, hardware talks about the more more powerful hardware so that we can go to from ani to agi means ani is just a straight forward thing and now we will be talking about the artificial general intelligence so that on the basis of the hardware which we will be developing in two years which will be developed in two years uh, for two years then on the basis of if we will be adjusted with the hardware then agi is quite uh, efficient for us to do means for example uh, our friend susan told about the ocr and deep learning and uh, the natural language processing these are just the start up which are going to the process of agi means they could be they are not stick on one activity that machine will do they will be doing lots of uh, multiple things which will be learning about uh, multiple things and they are just responding on the basis of that and uh, on the uh, while uh, researching about this uh, according to the machine learning intelligence research institute what they have told is agi is the ability to achieve complex complex goals in a difficult environment with the limited computational resource yeah the term limited computational resource what agi actual actually it means means is it possible to increase the 
level of the uh, or computational power of the system for two years or it is or at some time we will be just consisted with some uh, some natural uh, sort of some resources so that it will be we will be computing uh, hence uh, what they have told that with com limited computer resources uh, if agi is possible then at the at present world agi is most important than ani because we are just uh, we will be just adopted to the ani and we will be just now researching for the a agi and or and uh, as we all know that asi is our main topic we will be just uh, learning about those also in uh, later one uh, at the later stage uh, we will be talking if sort permits me in later stage in later stage of time i will be talking about the consequences and the limitations of what agi or an artificial uh, intelligence will do on the basis of nick bostrom's uh, super intelligence this is my point thank you sir thank you thank you mr ashish so rightly you have said like uh, agi that which stands for artificial general intelligence that is uh, as far as the human intelligence so that is uh, more required and artificial narrow intelligence uh, is still there are so many unsolved mystery uh, still the many set of boxes are still locked because exactly. it has to be unlocked to do things uh, they are there but you have just uh, rightly said like how the agi is also the is necessary okay so taking this question like the group b like we like to have some uh, okay okay mr suman shrestha so you, you want to say something right okay suman yeah. thank you sir for the question and uh, thank you for the good argument for the ashish yeah yes we can do uh, uh, currently with the uh, narrow intelligence as well as the general intelligence but in my view there are so many uh, fields we need to do in the narrow intelligence. There are so many fields remaining. We have to do so much research on the remaining research on the narrow intelligence. Because uh, I think that uh, based on the all narrow intelligence, we can make the general intelligence. Uh, suppose for like uh, one example for uh, one narrow intelligence is, we, uh, narrow intelligence sub, uh, is like, uh, suppose there is a, a a face recognition machine, uh, machine AI, so that there is a uh, one problem regarding to that. Like so, uh, in in their uh, in AI, AI, they have recognized the black people from Africa as a gorillas. That means there is a biasness in the biasness in the uh, artificial in narrow intelligence also. Till now, we do not uh, cannot fulfill all overall all the field of narrow intelligence. So in my point of view, I think first of all, we need to cover up all the uh, fields of uh, narrow intelligence. Then after only completing or mostly successful in the narrow intelligence, then we can go to shift towards the, uh, towards the gender intelligence. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Suman. Okay, okay Mr. Divanapanda, yes, please, please. Okay, thank you for Ashishdai for your valuable argument. So basically, I just wanted to add something as you raised the question uh, about uh, CDI. So, uh, and uh, I would like to just add up something. Basically, so why we need AGI if we have AI, A and I. So take, let's just take an example of a intelligent system that brooms the street and picks the waste whenever it detects waste. So it is narrow. It can only pick waste when it detects and throw it into the dustbin. So it is limited to that thing. But if it has AGI, artificial general intelligence, it can just as detect waste and pick it up as well as uh, guide, convince other people not to throw waste haphazardly here and there, as well as it may create some waste management framework using its intelligence so that city might be clean 24 by 7. And regarding the gorilla problem, like, uh, uh, like where black people were uh, like told as a gorilla, like it was not detected uh, as human beings in it was an incident that happened in, uh, in some airport i believe to with to uh, some professor of oxford so basically it was due to lack of inclusive data sets the machine that was used to detect human faces was only trained using the data set of european and american white peoples so it it could not detect black people as humans so that was a uh, like a lackness of inclusive data set not a machine problem i i, I would like to add that Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tibrant. Uh, okay. 
thank you i think uh, we have the two hands raised but uh, so with respect to all this one so i let me move to the another questions i think this, it is same related to agi in ani so that will give this opportunity to express your view so my another questions to this group is uh is uh, okay so this is my uh, okay this is a uh, what do you think? Can we make machine conscious or is artificial uh, consciousness possible? Because there is two school of thought, as I have said just before, like people are still doing the research. Even this, I met some professors from Cambridge University. They are working on how can we generate the artificial consciousness in the machine. Whereas some, I also met some other uh, professor they are saying it is not possible to put the consciousness to the machine. So it's still there in, in the consciousness also they have two school of thought. One group say, oh yes, it is possible to put the artificial consciousness in the machines or we can make a machine, machine conscious or it is not. So Mike, uh, I would like to listen, not I, but we all would like to love to listen to your view, your argument, whether it is possible or not. Since we have talked about AGI, we have said about super intelligence, but it's a little different than that. Should we go for this or not? So this is the question uh, to the uh, to the speakers. Will uh, yes, sir, okay. I would like to answer. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, we have we have come here from traveling a long journey that AI could now make uh, the different advancements in different field. Like uh, today AI can make the robots work, jump. And that was just an imagination long time ago. Now we are here, not only, we, we have not only self-driving car today, we have a self-flying rocket today. The recognizes, face recognition was once an imagination, but we can now generate the face generation now fake face generation and there are different face simulation. We can do this, but uh, to illustrate this, I want to make the, um, I want to make clear what consciousness is and how our brain actually works. Now, our brain is not a single entity. Our, we human beings are also not a single entity. We are also um, made by the integration of different parts or organs. Let's say uh, we have a vision module that recognize the movement of any object. We have the animal recognition module that, that, that recognize the thing. Let's say, for example, if the vision modules in the brain, it gets damaged, then uh, he or she cannot see the things. That's how the um, human brain works. And today, uh, today we are able to do the uh, things that human new human, baby born uh, child can do. Uh, for example, human child does not know anything when it's born. It even doesn't know that its hands belongs to him. So it learns in the process of growing uh, further. And there are different things that we need to uh, think about the consciousness that in, in human consciousness, consciousness is related to novel learning tasks that requires concentration and our thought is under a spotlight of our attention. But in case of the computer, in case of the uh, intelligence, that we can do it in super fast speed. And that uh, the same thing can be done in a super fast speed. Uh, there are different uh, things happening there, like uh, uh, Google's, I, I wanna put example of Google's deep dream, that uh, today we are able to perceive the thing through the in internet, uh, sorry, artificial intelligence that we as a human being cannot perceive in that way. Uh, there are different other example um, like uh, that deep dream, but today what I wanna focus is that uh, there are different advancement in the field of AI. Uh, we have developed the AI and deep learning just in 2014, and we can see the progress. We are only in the 2020, and within these six years, it have made a great progress in the field of 
this uh, computer vision and different uh, other things. Uh, for example, I want to say that um, today computer is even able to make the poem with seeing by seeing the image in front of uh, him. Like, like let's say if the uh, person is standing in the sunny day, then he can compose the poem by seeing the expression, by seeing the climate, by seeing what the weather is outside and by seeing the surrounding. This is a form of consciousness. Now, there can be also another point of view that uh, we are here, we, are, we human being does not develop at once. We also grew in the pace of time. Similarly, the, at some time, the computer will also go in that stage and it will be self-conscious. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Swan and sister. So it's a very good point. So Uday Karel, Mr. Uday Karel, I think he, uh, he wants to add something. Mr. Uday, yes, please add it. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. So uh, I really do not accept that a machine can be made conscious. Uh, first of all, uh, what we have to understand is what actually conscious is. Conscious is actually an uh, awareness. Uh, like uh, you are aware of light, you are aware of uh, air, uh, and, and you are aware of um, around you who is, uh, uh, who is uh, right beside you. Suppose, suppose uh, those awareness uh, all comes when your eyes are open. So, uh, like when I'm speaking in front of you, that uh, that means you you are aware of me, right? So uh, I would like to give an example. I would like to demonstrate with an example why machines are not uh, uh, made conscious. So for this, uh, my real name is Uday Uday Kornel. Uh, I would like you guys to remember my name. I I want really. I want to change my nickname. So I want you to guys remember. And I will, uh, I will ask machine to remember my name. So let's begin. Uh, so my, my new name would be like, please remember, do remember. Uh, my real name is, now changing name is OH, OH, OH. And the awareness <laughs> is that, uh, the, the awareness is about you must you must uh, pronounce my name as i as i have spoken to you so that you would uh, so that if you pronounce my name incorrectly then i will be angry so now let's begin with the machine uh, as you know the apple siri uh, good evening. I think, uh, I think, hello, today. Oh, okay, I think he has, he has some problem or, okay, so quickly, please, uh, Rupes, please add your views. So then we go to the, uh, then we uh, we love to listen from our, all the participants. Okay, please, Rupes, yes, quickly, yes, give him. Thank you, sir. Uh, before, uh, uh, add uh, our, um, Subhanadai says that uh, doing, uh, uh, having a knowledge of how to say weather, how to say the something happened from facial expressions and facial expression, those kind of thing is a kind of a consciousness, but I think it's actually not a kind of consciousness. It is causal power of a mind that creates your thoughts, it creates the something input out, something in, is inputting through your mind and creating output through your mind. That's not actually consciousness, but... Uh, uh, the philosopher uh, of uh, John Serial proposed a theory called Chinese Room Theorem. And that's very interesting theorem. He said that uh, uh, the theorem starts with that a person is sitting inside a room, closed room, and there is all symbols, Chinese symbols, and a book of a, a set of instruction. And uh, somebody uh, puts a instruction in Chinese. Uh, let's suppose he doesn't know Chinese. That's a actual theme. He doesn't know Chinese and someone puts a instruction in Chinese and the person looks on the instruction set and uh, 
uh, find the symbols as if the book says that if something asks him, you should put this symbol, then he collects those symbols and returns back it. And the person who is giving the answer actually thought that it was an actual human that knows Chinese. He was convinced that the answers were very much convincing that he actually thought the person who was inside that uh, room was uh, no actually understands actually that's the that's the that's the main word understands Chinese but he doesn't understand and he only following the rule book but he creates the illusion that illusion that he knows he understands Chinese but the person didn't understand any when we ask the person he didn't know any any symbols of Chinese any word of Chinese any meaning of that all those instructions and he only gave the answer but the so he created an illusion that uh, the person who is asking questions actually believe that he knows Chinese. So that the understands is a big question. Actually, he is understanding or not is the real consciousness. That is that is that comes out of our consciousness. That what I was trying to add uh, in behalf of Subhanna Sai. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Rupes. Okay, uh, Mr. Dipenda, we'll 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 come again this point. So uh, now, because we are running out of the time, so so let's listen from this uh, from the participants as well. Uh, so we have this uh, Dr. Beth Kafeser from Japan, and also I would like to welcome uh, Dr. Navrat Khatiwara sir uh, also. Uh, so who could manage his time uh, in spite of having the busy schedule because it is said like we are in the lockdown but this lockdown like everyone is very much occupied right so, so I do understand that your time I do value your time so now uh, let me move to the another uh, like my uh, slide so this is uh, okay so this now this will not this will talk in the next time <laughs> uh, uh, okay now, okay, so this is a view from the participants. Like, uh, I like to, uh, we love to know your idea. Do we need to work in AGI, though our speaker has said? And also, what is your view on AI that is a breakthrough by AlphaGo? Right, so AlphaGo has given, has given uh, a huge breakthrough in the history of AI research because when it defeated the Lee Seder in five games, uh, the, uh, the Chinese Go, which is the 19 by 19, uh, like uh, the square. And uh, so that has given a very uh, high motivation, high encouragement to the AI. So what is your view on the AI breakthrough for the AlphaGo that, is, uh, that, that we like to uh, know from you? And also, uh, I have another one, is a fiction or a science. So this is the thing that we like to listen from you. Uh, so now I like to make, uh, first I like to make a kind request to Dr. Birda Kafli, sir, who, who is joining us from, uh, from Tokyo, from Japan. Uh, sir, now this, uh, I like to hand over to the uh, microphone, uh, microphone to you. Uh, uh, Konnichiwa, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Manish, sir. I'm very happy to listen to our speakers. Uh, they are very nice. They have some information about the super AI and the, and the trend uh, that uh, we have been following for the development of AI. So my, yeah, uh, we can talk in either side uh, as much as uh, we learn from our related works. Uh, but my concern always when I teach AI to students uh, is that uh, we have to make AI uh, think rationally, not think humanly. So when we try to make the system or the machine to think rationally, then the, 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 the last question was about the consciousness. Maybe machine would not get that consciousness uh, by itself because it's... Uh, uh, its uh, task or its uh, like the main objective is to accomplish the tasks that it has been supposed to do. So, and there would be some like emotional or the consciousness re related things uh, coming out of the uh, process of uh, achieving the task. But uh, I don't know how that type of consciousness or the emotional aspects as the side effect uh, would be coming out uh, 
uh, from the machine. So that part is still unknown to us, uh, although we can see in several like uh, science fiction uh, related to literature, but uh, 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 there is no logic so far. So here I also posted one question in the chat box. Uh, I, I like the debate very much. And the, the world is moving to make uh, AI think and act uh, rationally. Uh, maybe if you have taken the AI courses, then the, the textbook uh, by Russell's and the Norvik, uh, their, their first page says, okay, let's uh, uh, think machine acting rationally, not humanly. And uh, whenever we think about uh, various approaches to make machine intelligence, uh, intelligent, uh, for example, let's say, uh, originally we are thinking about some sort of evolution, evolutional algorithm like genetic algorithm. So genetic algorithm is uh, uh, simulate, simulating genetic evolvement or genetic, uh, uh, like how human gene or uh, human generations have been evolving uh, through the like, mutation or through the uh, crossover of the genes. So, but we recently we came to know that uh, such a mutation or the crossover is not very uh, easy to track or easy to conduct in uh, time and space complexity because uh, that requires a lot of computation, a lot of uh, data uh, to train the system to, to evolve like uh, human have evolved. So it would not be possible in my current, uh, at the current stage, we can say that it would not be possible for the machines to evolve uh, by themselves because of this complexity, they cannot uh, support uh, from the uh, available computation power or the space they have. Uh, so our speakers uh, have any experience uh, in like dealing with this intractability uh, in a space time complexity of some some recent algorithms, let's say deep learning used in AlphaGo. Have you tried that algorithm by yourself by using some simulated or emulated data? I would like to get some, um, some information from our speakers in this regard. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Besa. So, so, so they are, uh, so let me tell on their behalf, they are the master student and they are working on that. So, uh, so I like to make a, like uh, the announcement, please you please, uh, try to be in touch with Dr. Beth Kafle, sir. So he has got a very good experiences in all these areas and he's now in Japan. Uh, so please, uh, I make a request to all my students, my colleague like to have a, uh, the coordination of corporations and take the help uh, or the advice or suggestion from with cafe, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Sir. You. Manish, sir, I have one more comment. This is just a comment yes. or suggestion. As uh, we are doing research in AI, as we in, here in Japan also, as uh, previously uh, Ganesh sir already mentioned, we have been doing, working to make the society super smart society and which is called uh, uh, Society 5.0, and uh, in Europe uh, there is uh, Industry 4.0. Here in Japan, uh, the name is Society 5.0 because Society 5.0 is keeping human in the center of the development or whatever progress. So it's making human life easier. It's making human life comfortable. It's making human safer and also uh, like they are free of stress. So human mind uh, stress free. So in this case, um, AI is one of the important uh, component and others are like big data, 5G or 6G networks, robotics, uh, IoT. So all those uh, are coming together to make human uh, society smarter. So in Nepal also, maybe whenever we are asking our students to do research in these uh, society centric uh, research areas, I think using data, because AI, we can do research or development of AI only by processing data. As much data we have, the, the better the research would be. So uh, my concern is uh, in Nepal, it is not very difficult to gather data in one place because our society is still not very much concerned with the privacy issues. In developed countries, 
the privacy issue is um, very big and it's sometimes like uh, uh, it's uh, becoming hurdle to collect data and uh, make available uh, of availability of the data to the students so in nepal what we can do we can collect a lot of data from our uh, various uh, sectors and put data in some public repository and make those data available to our students and the students would be processing the data they will be um, like refining their knowledge and their technology uh, that they have been researching or developing and th that would be a lot of help for not only to Nepal but also to the to the other countries because they can use our data they will be doing research and they will be providing research uh, feedback to ourselves and that feedback we can utilize for teaching, for public policy making, or whatever uh, purpose we like. So this, this I think, uh, this data um, repository or thinking about data repository is also very important to make uh, ourselves uh, capable to do research and development on AI. So this is just one comment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Vesa. Thank you very much for your very beautiful comments. So definitely we'll do on that. Okay, so <clears throat> moving ahead. Uh, you know, uh, let me tell you that it's very easy to read a book. It's very easy to, it's very easy to read AI books. It's very uh, easy to teach AI also. It's very easy to learn also, but it is very tough to implement the AI in the grassroots level. It is very, it ha we have a set of challenges if we think of applying the AI to the grassroots, to the school level, to the every state. We have the seven state in our country, every state. How can we go? How can you reach? So all these things made possible by one towering personality, Dr. Navras Khatiwara sir uh, is with us right now. So Navras sir, so we like to listen your uh, view on this and also your experiences and also like the pain that you have gone through during this implementation of AI in the school level. Okay, so okay. to you, sir. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Professor Dr. Manish Pokhrel, sir. It's always my pleasure to be with you all and then, uh, you know, talk on this. There are more, uh, yeah, uh, Manish, sir, I'm a BDC participant. Or the no, yes, no, 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 को अब धारणा जुन हामीले निजगढमा ल्याएका छौ त्यसको बारेमा छोटकरी म केही कुरा भन्दिनुस् न सुदर्शन सर Thank <laughs> ICT Park र AI Park भनेर त्यो त्यसको रूपमा विकास गर्ने उहाँहरुको योजना छ मैले यहाँनेर के भन्न लागेको भने त्यसकारण आज म यहाँहरुले सुनिहाल्नु भयो यसको कुरा अब सम्भवतः यो हाम्रो विज्ञान दिवसको दिनमा पनि यसको औपचारिक रूपमा घोषणा हुने छ र अब त्यसकारण मैले यहाँहरुलाई यहाँहरुलाई इच्छा छ भने यो चाहिँ कालान्तरमा 
बिल्ड अपरेट ओन एंड ट्रांसफर बुट मोडालिटी भाव यहाँ निर्माण करने यहाँ से इस बनाने रही चाहिए तब को अपरेट करने तीस पैंतीस वर्ष पच्चीस को मुनाफा लीए रब रुपया तेज कमा यहाँ से नगरपालिक हस्तांतरण करने तो मोडालिटी में यहाँ यो हम सोच यहाँ सब को मध्यानाकर्षण करा चाहूँ अब यह कारण विषय वस्तु यहाँ जो राख्व मेसिन रे को बारे में मैं चाहिए मगि मनीषर ने भनी हाल मई को एप्लीकेशन में ध्यान दिने भक्त मंे होना मैं चाहिए यह चिंता छेन ये मेसिन ने चाहिए जिते मंला जिते चाहिए इसलिए गड़बड़ कर अथवा हमें तस् नस पार्ला भाई कुरा में मैं चिंता कति क्यों छेन भादा मैं शास्त्रीय उदाहरण दी है अलग तो भाई ये एआई ले देवता भी बनाने लगे के अर्थ में देवता देवता भाई को दुईटा कुरा एवं चाहे अमृत खाई हो देवता ने अमर हो रोक शक्तिशाली हो रहा अब इसलिए चाहिए तब को यह जो हम जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग को जो विवास भैर तेजा अब मनीष पोखर सर हजार वर्षसम बांच सकूँ है प्रोफेसर डाक्टर मनीष पोखर अर्क नया चाहिए वहाँ ना बांच सकूँ एटा अर्क वहाँ ये शक्तिशाली हो कहीं एआई तो कारण वहाँ चाहे अब अलग आधुनिक युग को देवता बन सकूँ एआई ने मैं देवता बना लगी तो कारण मैं शास्त्र में तब हेन भाई राक्षस जति सुक शक्तिशाली भेपी तो रावण भेपी तो तब कंस भेपनी तो हिरण्य कश्यपी भेपनी तेल जिते संसार तेल चाहिए देवता जितने को छेन तो हारेक तो कारण मंेला पक्की मेसिन ने जितना सकते हैं यो म शास्त्रीय को उदाहरण बड़ा भन्न सकु क्योंकि अधिकांश मचे हम राम सोच नराम सोचने मं तो चाहिए तब को आपद विपद लियाने संगकट लियाने मं को दुरुपयोग करने को एकदम लिमिटेड हो कारण योजना मेरे विचार में यो यो मेसिन ने जितने भाई कुछ आदि जो मैं लग अर्क मैं दुई तीन टाइम कुरा म यहाँ निवेदन करना चाहिए अब में मनीष सर धे धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ हम वेद सर धीरे धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ यहाँ यह फील्ड में लगने मौका पाने भाई यहाँ को इसको अध्ययन करने मौका पाने भाई तर मैं ये विषय इतर मई मेरे पढ़ाई को विषय होना तर मे देखी रखु तब अवसर देख जो अगर हम पाला में अरबपति होना तीस वर्ष लगे हमी समय का साथी तीस वर्ष में अरबपति भाई तर तब चाहू तई को ये फील्ड में लगे तब तीन वर्ष में अरबपति होना सकूँ क्योंकि हमारा पाला में सूचना हिड़न को लगी दुई महीना लगे अभी दुई सेकेंड में हिंसा एवटे मात्र कुछ मैं बुझे तो कारण अभी भर्खर म आए यहाँ जोड़ने बितिक म तीन चार जान यहाँ तब साथीस मी भई सके म लिंकिन में जोड़ी सके है अब अरुण ठाई छे यो कि यो तब दु तीन वर्ष में अरबपति होने उद्यमी होने अंटरप्रिनरशिप डेवलप करने तब अवसर छुलुक अवसर ले रखे इसको लगी जहाज में सामान लिया पर्दन इंडिया को बोर्डर बड़ा सामान लिया पर्दन बंग्लादेश लिया पर्दन चीन बार लिया पर्दन ये हमीस तो बगौना इसलिए पाराडाइम सीफ्ट करना को डेवलपमेंट को पाराडाइम सीफ्ट करना को एकदम महत्वपूर्ण योजना हम टूल हो एकदम महत्वपूर्ण चाहे साधन हो भाई लगता अर्क दिस इज अवे फ्रम पोलिटिक्स अब तब यहाँ राजनीति को कांग्रेस कम्युनिस्ट को तब एआई को पोलिटिक्स एकदम कम छूने विषय है अल्लेम संभवतः यह राजनीतिज्ञ नपाईकन हमी कहाँ एआई को वििकस भैस तो मेरे लिए अर्क चाहिए राम खबर हो रहा मैं एकदम आनंद लगे यहाँ क्योंकि पोलिटिशियन ठा छेन रेरे अर्थ में पोलिटिशियन ठा पाए बिगा तो कारण उन्ना पाईकन हम विश कर सकते भाई मैं ये लगता तो समय में एजुकेशन में भन्न भाई मनीष सर ने हमें स्कूल में हमीस हमें एआई तो प्रयोग होन तर हमें हमीस साधन फोन को मध्यम विद्यार्थी पढ़ाने कल ट्री ते पाड़ी ये मिस कल सीस्टम रेस पाड़ी अर्क हम कन्फरेंस कल को बड़ विद्यार्थी पढ़ाने हमें काम गये इस इसमें धेरेवट रूम अप्टिमाइज कर पर्ने यहाँ को सहयोग चाहिए हम सहकार कर सकता तो कारण मैं अलग खास कर एजुकेशन में तब एआई टीचर भर जो आक रो चीन में मैं देखे तो एआई को मेसिन लगाए पी तब को विद्यार्थी कंसनट्रेट कर विद्यार्थी कसा छह को पहचान होना सकद तो कारण इसी 
एआई टीचर भयो र अरु टीचिङ मा भएका अरु कुराहरु जुन छन् ती कुराहरुलाई चाहिँ नि तपाईको यसको विकास भइरहेको छ र हामी कहाँ पनि नेपालमा पनि तपाईहरुको लागि अवसर छ तपाईहरुको लागि त मेरो विचारमा कुनै कम्पनीको जागिर तपाईले खोज्नु पर्दैन तपाई आफै अघि मैले भने आफ्नै कम्पनी खोल्नुस् आफ्नै तपाईको अगाडि बढ्नुस् र नेपाल विकास अनुसन्धान प्रतिष्ठानको तर्फबाट म यहाँहरुसँग सहकार्य गर्न तयार छु हाम्रो पुरै टिम सहकार्य गर्न तयार छ र हामी सहकार्य गरौ र यहाँहरुले चाहिँ नि उद्यम गर्नुस् र एआले अगाडि बढाउनुस् मेरो यहाँहरुलाई हार्दिक शुभकामना हस् मनीष सर धन्यवाद थ्यांक यु थ्यांक यु डाक्टर नवरा खदेवडा सर थ्यांक यु भेरी मच फर रिमार्कबल एकदम राम्रो कस्तो उहाँले एक्सपिरियन्स सेयर गर्नुभयो र निज गर्नमा भएको उपलब्धि पनि हामी गा छैन छैन भने हामी कति रटान रटिरहने अब निज गर्नु जस्तो ठाउँमा मा पनि त्यहाँ भइरहेको छ भन्ने कुरा हामीलाई हामीलाई त्यो हौसलाई दिएको छ अब हामीसँग धेरै समय कम छ किनभने हामीले बाह्र बजेसम्म सकिसक्नु पर्ने छ त्यसले गर्दाखेरि अब हामीले जापानको अनुभव सुन्यौँ त्यसपछि के अरे नभा खतेवडा सरबाट चाहिँ निजगढको पनि अनुभव सुन्यौँ अब फेरि हामी सिङ्गापुरतिर लाउँ सिङ्गापुरमा के छ कसो भन्ने कुरा र चाहिँ एआईको बारेमा हाम्रो चाहिँ मनोज शाक्य चाहिँ हाम्रो कलिग हो नाउ ही इज राइट नाउ एट एनटीयु नान्याङ टेक्नोलोजी युनिभर्सिटी को बारेमा भन्ने पर्दैन अहिले चाहिँ वर्ल्ड र्याङ्किङमा बेस्ट कम्प्युटर साइन्स पढाउनेमा चाहिँ सेकेन्डमा आएको छ भनेपछि धेरै गौरवको कुरा हो र ओके मिस्टर मनोज शाक्य लाइक व्हाट डू यू थिङ्क लाइक आजको जुन डिबेट भयो आजको जुन हाम्रो चाहिँ छलफल भयो अथवा आजको जुन भयो वेदर द मेसिन अर द ह्युमन अथवा सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स भन्ने सबै कुरा हुँदाखेरि व्हाट इज युअर भ्यू एन्ड व्हाट द पिपुल दे इन सिङ्गापुर दे थिङ्क अबाउट दिस मनोज नाउ द माइक्रोफोन इज विथ यू मनीष सर थ्याङ्क यू सो मच मैले भिडियो अफ गरेँ सर अहिले यो इन्टरनेट कनेक्सन अलिकति अनस्टेबल भएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि मेरो राउटरको प्रब्लम हो कि जस्तो लाग्यो आई मिन होस्टेल राइट नाउ होस्टेल रुममा छु सर म मेरो मेरो सानो परिचय दिन्छु सर अनि म मेरो आफ्नो भ्यूहरू राख्दैछु फर्स्ट अफ अल मनीष सरलाई त मलाई इन्भाइट गरिदिनु भएकोमा थ्याङ्क यू सो मच वन्स अगेन सर बिकज आई गट टु सी लर अफ कलिग्स टुगेदर हियर बल सर गजेन्द्र सर रेक सर राजन सर हाम्रो अनि अरू साथीहरू सरहरू पनि धीरज सरहरू पनि देखिरहेको थिएँ नवराज सरलाई पनि भेट भयो यहाँ नै बेसिकली द क्वेसन्स द्याट यु पुट फरवर्ड आर आर भेरी रेलिभेन्ट इन इन टुडेज सिनारियो एक्चुअली मेरो विचारमा के लाग्छ त भन्दाखेरि जुन सरले फर्स्ट क्वेसन राख्नुभयो क्यान द मसिन बिट ह्युमन्स भनेर ग्रुप ए ग्रुप बी दुईटा पार्टिसिपेन्ट्सहरू पार्टिसिपेन्ट्स मतलब स्पिकर्सहरू आए अब आफ्नो आइडियाजहरू राखे तर मेरो पर्सनल ओपिनियन चाहिँ के हो त भन्दाखेरि बेसिकली सायद म नेचरले नै अप्टिमिस्टिक भएको कारणले होला आर्टिफिसियल इन्टेलिजेन्समा नै केही कन्ट्रिब्युट गर्छु यो सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स बनाउने हिसाबले नै त्यही त्यसैको लागि पिएचडी गर्न आएको भएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि मैले यसमा यसमा नेगेटिभ वेमा अथवा नेगेटिभ इन अ सेन्स कि मसिन्सले बेटर गर्न सक्दैन ह्युमन भन्दा भनेर आर्ग्यु गर्न त्यति उचित लागेन मलाई त्यही भएर मैले मेरो 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 बिलिफ के छ त भन्दाखेरि बेसिकली इन्टेलिजेन्सको पनि लेभलहरू अफकोर्स हुन्छ यू क्यान द मसिन बिट ह्युमन्स यो आफै क्वेसनमा भेरी डिबेटेबल किन छ त भन्दाखेरि इन व्हाट वेज भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ यहाँ यो क्वेसनमा आएको छैन फर इक्जाम्पल ए हामीले गेमको गेमको कुरा गर्ने हो भने डेफिनेटली मसिन्स क्यान बिट ह्युमन्स जस्तै अल्फा गोको अघि कुरा आयो सिमिलरली क्रिएटिभिटीको पनि कुरा आयो अघि अघि एकजना साथीले पोएमको कुराहरू निकाल्नु भयो अहिले त मसिन्स क्यान एक्चुअली एक्चुअली जेनरेट अ भेरी अब नाइस पप सङ्ग्स द्याट क्यान गो आई मिन भेरी पपुलर सो यो कुराहरू पनि छ त्यही भएर क्रिएटिभिटीको कुरामा पनि मसिन्स एक्चुअली क्यान बिट ह्युमन जस्तो लाग्छ इफ यू थिङ्क अफ लाइक फर इक्जाम्पल इट्स टक एन टेक एन एक्जाम्पल अफ जर्नलिज्म जर्नलिज्ममा पनि हेर्ने हो भने बेसिकली न्युजहरू अहिले नै अहिले नै मसिन्सले जेनरेट गर्न सक्छ एन्ड द क्यान मेक इट भेरी फास्ट र र मेरो विचारमा यदि जर्नलिज्मको कुरा गर्ने हो भने स्टिल ह्युम मिन मसिन्स क्यान बिट ह्युमन्स एज वेल सो यो किन त भन्दाखेरि हामीले जुन मसिन्स डेभलप गर्छौँ यो बेसिकली प्रब्लम स्पेसिफिक भएको कारण पार्टिकुलर प्रब्लममा त्यो पार्टिकुलर मसिन चाहिँ मसिनको चाहिँ रिजल्ट जस्तै अल्फा गोको लागि जुन मसिन बनाएको छ त्यो अल्फा गो मेन त त्यो मसिनले त अल्फा गो मात्रै खेल्ने भयो उसलाई चेस दिनुभयो भने प्रोबेबली त्यो त्यो त दस वर्षको बच्चाले नै उसलाई हराउन सक्छ होला 
त्यो कारणले गर्दाखेरि बेसिकली व्हाट आई थिंक इज मशिन्स आर बेसिकली नाउ अ डेज एक्सेप्ट फ्यु 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 एक्सपेरिमेन्ट्स भनौ अथवा फ्यु रिसर्च भनेर भनौ मोर लाइक स्पेसिफिक प्रब्लमलाई सल्भ गर्न खोजिराखेको छ जस्तै नेचुरल ल्याङ्ग्वेज प्रोसेसिङमा हामीले कुरा गर्ने हो भने एक्युरेसी धेरै हाई छ अहिले ट्रान्सलेसनमा जुन चाहिँ जुन चाहिँ ह्युमनले पनि त्यति एक्युरेसी मेन्टेन गरेको छैन हेल्थ सेक्टरमा जाने हो भने मसिन्सले नै त्यो एक्युरेसीलाई बिट गरे के अरे ह्युमनले दिने एक्युरेसी भन्दा मसिन्सले दिने एक्युरेसीहरू धेरै राम्रो छ त्यही भएर इन इन मेनी वेज आई थिङ्क दोज मसिन्स आर बेटर देन ह्युमन्स तर जहाँ अब अहिले धेरै कुराहरू आएको छ यो कन्सियसनेसको कुराहरू इमोसन्सको कुराहरू आई मिन देर आर देर आर सो मेनी एक्सपेरिमेन्ट्स गोइङ आर देयर फर एक्जाम्पल वान अफ द भेरी नाइस प्रोफेसर्स आई मिन गुड प्रोफेसर्स इन एनटीयु ही इज वर्किङ अन इमोसन्स बेसिकली इमोसन्सको कुरा गर्दाखेरि पनि यहाँ चाहिँ ह्युमन र मसिनलाई कम्पेरिजन गर्ने हो भने ह्युमन जस्तै इमोसन्सहरू मसिनले अहिले देखाउन सकेको छैन अहिले लिमिटेड इमोसन्सहरू म आफै पनि एउटा पेपरमा वर्कआउट गरियो इमोसन्सको कुरालाई लिएर इमोसन्सको बेसिकली कुनै बेला मतलब बिफोर फ्यु इयर्स भनौँ न फ्यु फ्यु इयर्स अगो तिनवटा चारवटा इमोसन्सलाई मात्र मसिन्सले चाहिँ रेप्लिकेट गर्न सक्थ्यो अथवा आइडेन्टिफाई गर्न सक्थ्यो अहिले आएर दसवटा ह्युमन इमो मसिनले मसिनले आइ आइडेन्टिफाई गर्न सक्छ तर लेटर डेज भनौँ न अथवा फ्युचरमा यो इमोसन्सहरू इन्क्रिज हुँदै जान्छ ह्युमनले त बेसिकली दे क्यान सो सो मेनी अफ इमोसन्स बेसिकली सो सर्टेन कुराहरूमा स्टिल ह्युमन्स ह्युमन आर बेटर देन देन मसिन्स तर मसिन्स आर रियली डुइङ ग्रेट इन मेनी र मेरो विचारमा के हुन्छ भने यदि मसिनलाई ह्युमनलाई बिट गर्ने क्यापेसिटी मसिन्समा राख्ने हो भने ह्युमन आफै पनि इन्टेलिजेन्ट हुनुपर्छ जस्तो लाग्छ जस्तै ह्युमन इन्टेलिजेन्ट नभएदेको भए डिप लर्निङको कन्सेप्टहरू नै आउँदैन थियो कन्सेप्ट नै आउँदैन थियो जस्तो लाग्छ त्यही त्यो कारणले गर्दाखेरि यदि ह्युमन के अरे मसिन्सलाई इन्टेलिजेन्ट बनाउनलाई जस्तो लाग्छ त्यही भएर सर्टेन लेभलमा इन्टेलिजेन्सको कन्सेप्ट जुन सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स भन्ने वर्ड छ सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्सको मोस्ट प्रोबेबली मलाई चाहिँ के लाग्छ भने वेल डिफाइन्ड टर्म त होइन यो यसमा पनि डिबेट गर्न सकिन्छ के कुरा गर्यो भने यसलाई सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स भन्ने के कुरालाई सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स नभन्ने र मेरो के विचार लाग्छ भने जस्तै हामी थ्री जी फोर जी फाइभ जीको अहिले कुरा गर्छौँ सिक्स जीको कुराहरू आइसक्यो त्यस्तै सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स पनि सायद सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स वान पोइन्ट जिरो सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स वान पोइन्ट टू पोइन्ट जिरो त्यो कन्सेप्ट आउँछ कि जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई पनि कुनै कुनै वेमा सो सो मसिन्स आर क्यापेबल अब हामी कुनै फ्युचर्समा भनौँ न डाउन द लाइन अफ टेन इयर्स मोस्ट प्रोबेबली हामी कसरी डिफाइन गर्न सक्छौँ भने दिस रोबोट अथवा दिस मसिन्स क्यान अचिभ सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स वान पोइन्ट जिरो दिस मसिन क्यान अचिभ सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स टू पोइन्ट जिरो त्यो कुराहरूको कन्सेप्ट आउँछ कि जस्तो लाग्छ अनि सरले जुन एजीआई र एनआई राख्नुभयो दिस इज मोर लाइक थेरिटिकल नै हो यो कन्सेप्टहरू पनि र मेनी रिसर्च आर बेसिकली यो एजीआई भनेको अर्को वेमा हामीले स्ट्रङ एआई नै सायद यो अर्को अर्को अनदर वर्ड टु डिस्क्राइब एजीआई चाहिँ स्ट्रङ एआई जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई स्ट्रङ एआई को चाहिँ जेनरल रिसर्चर्सहरू अहिले अहिले बेसिकली रिसर्चरहरू यही कुरामा लागिरहेको छ एएनआई त हामीले गरिरहेकै छौँ स्पेसिफिक भएर सानो एउटा कुनै काम गर्ने तर अहिले रिजनिङको कुराहरू आएको छ कन्सियसनेसको कुराहरू आएको छ यो कुराहरू मेरो बिचमा बिस्तारै थपिँदै जान्छ इमोसन्सको कुराहरू आएको छ थपिँदै जान्छ तर एट सम पोइन्ट हामी सर्टेन लेभलसम्म चाहिँ एचिभ गर्छौँ जस्तै एजुकेसनकै कुरा गर्ने हो भने हामीले हामीले विद्यार्थीलाई नै इभ्यालुएट गर्ने हो भने पनि हामी सोलो टेक्सोनोमीहरू एप्लाई गरिरहेको हुन्छौँ ब्लुम्स टेक्सोनोमीहरू एप्लाई गरिरहेको हुन्छौँ सो होपफुली हामी मसिन्समा पनि त्यो लेभल कुन लेभल एचिभ गर्ने त मल्टी स्ट्रक्चर लेभल एचिभ गर्ने कि रिलेसनल लेभल एचिभ गर्ने कि एक्सटेन्ड एचिभ गर्ने कि यो सबै सोलो टेक्सोनोमीको कुराहरू गरेको त्यस्तै मसिन्सले पनि सर्टेन कामहरू मल्टी स्ट्रक्चर लेभलमा एचिभ गर्न सक्छ तर होपफुली अहिले एब्स्ट्रेक्ट लेभलमा एचिभ गर्न नसके पनि रिलेसनल लेभलमा एचिभ गर्न सक्छ कि मसिनले पनि आफ्नो कुराहरू अथवा रिजल्टहरू त्यो कारणले गर्दाखेरि एट सम पोइन्ट मेरो विचारमा चाहिँ हामी लिटर बनाउँदै जाने हो त्यही कुरालाई त्यही ट्रस्टलाई मतलब बिलिफ लिएर मेरो स्टडीहरू भएको छ र मेरो विद्यार्थीहरू जो काफी विद्यार्थीहरू हुन्छ उहाँहरूलाई पनि एउटा सजेसन भने एउटा के त भन्दाखेरि हामी के ट्रस्ट गर्नु त भन्दाखेरि आर्टिफिसियलले आर्टिफिसियल इन्टेलिजेन्स बेटर हुँदै जान्छ र त्यो बेटर हुनलाई हाम्रो हामीले कन्ट्रिब्युसन गर्नुपर्छ तर धेरै इस्युजहरू छ जस्तै इथिकल इस्युजहरू मानिसहरूले जुन कुरा गरिराख्नु हुन्छ इथिकल इस्युजको कुराहरू त्यो चाहिँ अफकोर्स धेरै नै छ जस्तै फर एक्जाम्पल एउटा सिम्पल एक्जाम्पल जस्तै कुनै न्युज 
रोबोटले जेनेरेट गर्छ मेसिनले जेनेरेट गर्छ भने त्यसको कपीराइट कसले लिने यस्तो किसिमको इथिकल इश्यूजहरु जो हेल्थमा धेरै इश्यूजहरु छ इथिकल इश्यूजहरु त्यो इथिकल इश्यूजहरु पनि मेरो विचारमा कन्टेक्सचुअल हुँदै जान्छन् आउँदै जान्छन् सोल्भ हुँदै जान्छन् जस्तो लाग्छ तर हाम्रो ह्युमन म्यान काइन्ड ह्युमन काइन्ड भनौ न ह्युमन काइन्ड लाई बेटर बनाउँदै जाने भने आर्टिफिसियल इन्टेलिजेन्सको एकदमै ठुलो रोल हुन्छ जस्तो लाग्छ सर यति भन्दै मेरो दुई शब्द यहीँ टुङ्गेछु थ्याङ्क यू सो मच थ्याङ्क यू मनोज थ्याङ्क यू भेरी मच फर रिमार्केबल भेरी भेरी गुड भेरी गुड पोइन्ट थ्याङ्क यू मनोज ओके अब कसैलाई हामीले चाहिँ आई गट लाइक मेसेज फ्रम मिस्टर प्रकाश पौडेल प्रकाश पौडेलले के भन्न चाहेको जस्तो लाग्यो जसले अरू कसैलाई अब हामीसँग एक दुईवटा किन्न हामी जम्मा पन्ध्र मिनट टाइम छ त्यसले गर्दाखेरि हामी एकदम एकदम विशेष भएर चाहिँ हामी टाइम यो बारेर ठ्याक्क सक्नुपर्छ भनेर फेरि हाम्रो चाहिँ हाम्रो कन्क्लुडिङ रिमार्क र भ्यू हाम्रो डिपार्टमेन्ट हेड डाक्टर बालकृष्ण बल सरको पनि सुन्नुपर्छ हामीले त्यसले गर्दाखेरि ओके प्रकाश नाउ द माइक्रोफेन इज विथ यू सबैलाई नमस्कार मैं मेरे भिडियो बंद करे तलिकति महसूस धर राम छलफल भो इसमें ये मैं पढ़ाई विद्यार्थी को सुन्न पाए अथ साथ ही अरु अन्न वेद सर है मैं सुन्न पाए अरु सर को भाई मैं कुछ भी एट पक्षीस ये कुरा खोजे तर मैं आपने लगे कुछ अलग सेयर कर चाहूँ क्योंकि मैं एआईक स्टूडेंट भाई मेरे अलग रिसर्च भी अलग थे ये डिबेट अथवा अर्गुमेंट्स ये मैनिंग समझे अलग फिलोसफी कंटेक्स में अलग जानकार भाग हमें तो विभिन्न पक्ष पछाड़ी जसरी ये ह्युमेनिटी ग्रो भाग के कसो भाषा भारत में पैला हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड था पाऊँ गई है अब यह मेसिन्स कह छ भारत जानकारी होना सकता जस्तु हमें धे दुई हजार वर्ष पैला एरिस्टोटल को जो इथोज लोगोज ये लोगोज इथोज रथोज ये तीनटा टर्म चाहिए अभी भाइटल छोरा जी इंपोर्टेन्ट छ अभी मैक्सिम रिसर्च वर्कआउट अल्लेम के भाग लोगोज में भाग मैं लोगोज को बेसम वर्कआउट करा थे है अब ये कुछ यो इथोज र पैथोज में अलग अलि अलि टर्म्स आई रह तर मैं धे काम करना बाकी मैं एट समझे अनुसार इथोज को एकजना मेरे साथी मैं कन्फ्रेन्स पोस्ट टाइम में होता खेल उस बेस्ट एवाड दी थी अब म लोगोज करने ऊ अलग पैथोज हो मलिक वर्कआउट भैस काम में गई थे अब इथोज में चाह उ काम कर जो हम के डिनर कन्फ्रेन्स डिनर में जो उसके बेस्ट एवाड दिखे तो जूरी मेम्बर के भाई अलग को लेटेस्ट अल नया नोबिलिटी वर्कआउट कारण उसको सब स्ट्रंग पोइंट इसमें इथोज में भाग दिया पैथोज में तो काम कर कक्षा बाकी है तेस कारण मैं जहांसम लगता ये मसिन्स ने क्या मसिन्स पीछ ह्यूमन भो क्वेश्चन चाहे सदैवरी क्वेश्चनम रहता हो इसको एंसर चाहे यस ऊजा छेन यो बीस तीस वर्ष पैला भाई कुरा हो क्वेश्चन तेखिर भी थी अभी सायद बीस पच्चीस वर्ष पचास वर्ष पच्चीस होने तेस कारण चाहिए बीटे गला भाई मैं जहांसम लगे मलिक टू दी स्पेसिफिक में आँचु है हमें ह्युमेनिटी को नेचर के स्पेसिफिक जोन में ये मेसिन्स को एक्टिविटीज देखा चाहिए हम उत्साहित होने तर काम कर मापदंड के भाई बीस वर्ष पैला अलग थी मापदंड इसको है बीस वर्ष पैला टर्म तो निस्किया थे अभी भी निस्क रहा बीस वर्ष पी हो अब मैं ये नहीं सर हस् धन्यवाद मैं चाहे सर मोरे समय लिंक हजर सब नमस्कार मेरे नाम सुशील श्रेष्ठ म एसिस्टेन्ट प्रोफेसर अल डिजिटल लर्निंग रिसर्च लैब लीड कर सो मनी सर थैंक यू ये राो इवेन्ट कर दूध म अब अलग हम मनोज साके सर ने धेरे कुछ भन्न भो कुछ म रिपीट कर लगभग मेरे वहाँसंग एकदम सहमति नहीं मैं अलग एड कर खोजे 
यो एआई मा हामी धेरै छलफल गर्छौ हामीले सेमिनार पनि गरिरा छौ तर मेरो आफ्नो पर्सनल ओपिनियन मा चाहिँ यो चाहिँ अलिकति निड बेस्ड निड बेस्ड हुनु पर्छ जस्तो लाग्छ र सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्स को चाहिँ मेरो पर्सनल चाहिँ ओपिनियन मा म त्यति फेभर मा छैन किनकि म अझ पनि के भन्छु भने ह्युमन भन्दा पावरफुल चाहिँ हामीले मेसिन लाई बनायो भने ह्युमन को के काम नै भन्छु म आफ्नो ह्युमन कम्प्युटर इन्टरेक्सन पढाउने भएको हुनाले त्यहाँ पनि म स्टुडेन्ट लाई चाहिँ हाम्रो डिभाइस चाहिँ टेली अपरेसन डिभाइस हुनुपर्छ है टेली अपरेसन डिभाइस भनेको एभ्रिथिङ डन बाई चाहिँ मेसिन बट इट ह्याज टु बी सुपरभाइज बाई द ह्युमन बिइङ भनेर मैले स्टुडेन्टलाई पढाइरहेको छु त्यही कुरामा इन्करेज पनि गरेको हुनाले म चाहिँ सुपर इन्टेलिजेन्सको चाहिँ अलिकति त्यस्तो फेभरमा छैन र अघि यो अल्फा गोको कुरा आयो छ मेरो चाहिँ के छ भनाइ भने अल्फा गो त चाहिँ हाम्रो ह्युमेनले खेल्ने गेम हो अब यसमा चाहिँ किन चाहे मेसिन मैले चाहिँ यो एलेन मक्स र यो काइफुलीको अस्ति आर्गुमेन्टबाट चाहिँ यही त्यो आर्गुमेन्ट हेर्दाखेरि चाहिँ मलाई त्यो एकदम राम्रो पनि लाग्यो हामीले चाहिँ यो मेसिनलाई चाहिँ इन्करेज गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ हाम्रो डे टु डे डेली लाइफलाई चाहिँ इन्हान्स गर्नेमा चाहिँ ठिकै छ तर हामी भन्दा सुपरियर नै बनाएर चाहिँ जानु हुन जस्तो लाग्छ र लास्टमा म एउटा कुरा के एड गर्छु भने एउटा सेल्फ ड्राइभिङ कार अहिले जुन एकदमै पपुलर भइरहेको छ जस्तो म एउटा एक्जाम्पल दिन्छु अस्ति हाम्रो सेमिनार पनि यो कुरा भएको थियो सेल्फ ड्राइभिङ कारले चाहिँ जस्तो अब कहीँ उसलाई जानु पर्यो र दुईतिर चाहिँ एक्सिडेन्ट हुनु सक्ने केसेसहरू छ भने चाहिँ हाम्रो हुमेनले त कहाँनिर थोरै जाँदाखेरि चाहिँ कम भन्दा कम चाहिँ रिक्स हुन्छ भनेर हामी त्यो थिङ्क गर्छौँ भने तर सेल्फ ड्राइभिङ कारले त त्यसको डिस्टेन्स हेर्ला र त्यो कारणले गर्दाखेरि ओभरअलमा हामीलाई एआई चाहिन्छ तर हामी निड बेस्टमा जानुपर्छ र मेरो स्टुडेन्टलाई चाहिँ एउटा रिक्वेस्ट के हो भने यो चाहिँ गफमा मात्र यो सीमित नहोस् यो कुराहरू Try to implement uh, some some concept of AI in your research. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chief Sushil. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for. Okay, more of Gajan sir. Let me Gajan sir. Now the microphone. Well, Gajan sir, last word on the other list. Because there are questions which are not asked. So, this second version will be answered. Because there are so many questions still are not answered. So, we'll have the another event as well. So, Gajan sir, the microphone is with you. Only for sixty seconds. Please, sir. Very, very sorry, sir. Very, very thank you. Bad. You must have done a lot. र यो चाहिँ एउटा एकदमै हाम्रो डिपार्टमेन्टको हिस्ट्रीमा यो युनिक प्रोग्राम जस्तो मलाई लाग्छ है यस्तो प्रोग्राम हामीले चाहिँ भनौँ भर्चुअली चाहिँ पहिला गरेका थिएनौँ र यहाँ चाहिँ हाम्रो वेद सर पनि आउनु भएको छ नवराज सर मनोज सर पनि आउनु भएको छ र सबैलाई फेरि मेरो पुनः चाहिँ एकदमै हार्दिक अभिवादन है भर्चुअली भए पनि र यो एआईको चाहिँ अलिकति मेरो मोटिभेसन भएको चाहिँ हामी डेढ वर्ष अगाडि मनिष सर र मसँगै जेएनयू गएको थियौँ इन्डिया त्यहाँ चाहिँ वास्तवमै यो भनौँ न एआई के भेटेरानबाट चाहिँ हामीले धेरै नै उहाँको रिसर्चको कामहरू सुनेका थियौँ यति बित त्यस्तो डेफ्थ रिसर्चमा त म गएको छैन अथवा नेपालको कन्टेक्समा त्यस्तो डेफ्थ रिस रिसर्च भएको छैन तर अन्त चाहिँ के काम भएको रहेछ हामीले गर्नुपर्ने के छ ग्याप के छ र त्यो ग्यापलाई लिएर चाहिँ हामीले नयाँ अनुसरण गऱ्यो भनेदेखि चाहिँ यसको फ्युचर चाहिँ एकदम राम्रो छ जस्तो मलाई लाग्छ र मैले एकचोटि चिया गफमै मनिषलाई सोधेको थिएँ मैले मनिष यो एआईको फ्युचर कति छ त भन्दाखेरि मनिषलाई यसको चाहिँ सय वर्ष मिनिमम सय वर्ष छ भनेर भन्नुभएको थियो है र वास्तवमै यो भनौँ न वर्ल्डलाई ड्राइभ गर्ने होइन अटोमेसन गर्ने अब हाम्रो लिभिङ स्टान्डर्डलाई चाहिँ इम्प्रुभ गर्ने है हाम्रो सिभिलाइजेसनलाई इन्हान्स गर्ने काम नै वास्तवमा एआईबाट नै हुन्छ जस्तो मलाई लाग्छ र रिसेन्टली मैले एउटा न्युज पनि पढेको थिएँ त्यसमा के पाएको थिएँ भनेदेखि क्यान्सर डिटेक्सनमा चाहिँ ह्युमेन डक्टरले भन्दा एआईले चाहिँ एकदमै राम्रो प्रम्पली र रिलायबल चाहिँ डिटेक्ट गर्न सक्छ भनेर रिसेन्टली न्युज पनि आएको थियो र अरू गेमहरूको कुरा त आइसक्यो अल्फा गो जिरो होइन यसमा चाहिँ एक्सेसिभली अथवा एकदमै हामी चाहिँ राम्रोसँग चाहिँ एआईलाई युज गरेका छौँ अब यसको सिम्पल हाम्रो ह्युमन र मेसिनको डिफ्रेन्स भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ अब ह्युमनमा चाहिँ लर्निङ क्यापाबिलिटी हुन्छ मेसिनमा हुँदैन होइन हामीले जस्तो इन्स्ट्रक्सन दिउँ त्यो अनुसार काम गर्छ हाम्रो आफ्नो इमोसन हुन्छ कन्सियसनेस हुन्छ हाम्रो आफ्नै इन्टेलिजेन्स हुन्छ तर मेसिनको चाहिँ आर्टिफिसियल इन्टेलिजेन्स र यसैले चाहिँ अब वास्तवमा मेसिनलाई ड्राइभ गर्ने कन्ट्रोल गर्ने भनेको ह्युमनले हो त्यसैले मलाई पनि के लाग्छ भनेदेखि मेसिनले ह्युमनलाई चाहिँ बिट्ने गर्न त नसक्ला होइन तर कम्पिटिटिभ चाहिँ हुनसक्छ र यसको लागि पनि हामीले धेरै रिसर्च चाहिँ गर्नु जरुरी छ र अरू कुराहरू चाहिँ यहाँ आइ पनि सक्यो जस्तो कि अब हाम्रो डिप लर्निङ सोसियल मिडियालाई चाहिँ कनेक्ट गरेर एआईको कनेक्ट गरेर हामीले चाहिँ अब्जेक्ट रिकग्नेसनमा युज गर्न सक्छौँ होइन इमेज रिकग्नेसन डिसास्टर म्यानेजमेन्ट त भइहाल्यो र खास गरेर अर्थवेक भयो होइन फ्लडहरू जुन चाहिँ हाम्रो नेपालमा पनि फ्रिक्वेन्टली चाहिँ हामीले एभ्री इयर चाहिँ हामीले यो दोहोरिराखेको छ यसलाई पनि हामीले इफेक्टिभली इम्प्लिमेन्ट गर्नै पर्छ त्यसैले अब चाहिँ अब हाम्रो यस्तो
यहाँ को बीच को ग्याप हमें कसरी मिनीमाइज करने भाई कुछ भी हम अर्क एकदम मनोनीय चीज हो तस्त अब सुपर इंटेलिजेंस भूरा अलग को बहस को विषय बने रही कुछ केन्द्र बिंदु में राखे हमें एआई में नया खोज अनुसंधान कर एकदम जरूरी है थैंक यू मनीष सर हाई मेरे ये नहीं हो थैंक यू गर्ज थैंक यू वेरी मच ओके मैं माइक मांग चाहूँ धेरे सर मैडम मैं धेरे कुछ तर बट आई प्रोमिश दैट नेक्स्ट इयर आवर पार्ट टू इवेन्ट विल बी वेरी सुन र बिफोर आई मेक अ काइंड रिक्वेस्ट टू आवर डिपार्टमेंट हेड सो लेट मी सेयर माइ स्क्रीन जस्ट फोर दिस टेक अ मेसेज Uh, the final notes for today's discussion. Uh, our 1950s co late ma John Macker thile chay automated vehicle le chay ullai chay airport ma chay lock saw bhanera wa wa imagination thiyo. John Macker thi the father of the inventor of artificial intelligence. Just pachi 1987 ma chay big man's le chay self driving Mercedes car the 87 ma in Germany ma garish ke gore jas. तर यह हे नाइन्टीन फिफ्टी में जन मैकर अटोमेटेड भेहकल को कुरा नाइन्टीन एटी सिक्स में डेमोस्ट्रेशन भी कर सकते बट आफ्टर थर्टी इयर्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में स्टिल डू नट हेव द फुली अटोमेटेड कार जो जो पेस ने जान पर्ने हो इसलिए कता कता हमें फिर सोच् पर्च हो कि क्या हो भाई क्या मैं ये लायक होना मेसेज दिन खोजे मैं रैन्टीन सिक्सटी सिक्स में जेम्स सुथ्रोलैंड स्माट होम को भाई कुछ नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी सिक्स में अलग हम स्मार्ट सीटी में स्मार्ट होम को अलसम भाषेन व्हाट इज दिस गोइंग अन भाई कुरो को अर्क हम प्रोग्राम में इसको एंसर यहाँ आओस्ने मैं ये खोजे रेस पच्चीस क्यों कुरो रोक हर वेन विल सुपर इंटेन्स एआई विल अराइव भाई भादा खेल मैं एक दुरा लिटरेचर हे प्रेडिक्शन अलवेज गोज रंग जैक मैं भी भाई नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन पर्सेंट प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट प्रेडिक्शन गोज रंग जैक मैं एक दुरा टक में भन्न भाई थी तेरिकन हे नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी में नोबेल प्राइज विनिंग इकोनोमिस्ट हर्बर्ट साइमन ने कि लेख्त टेक्नोलॉजिकली मेसिन्स विल बी कैपेबल विद इन ट्वेंटी इयर्स नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी में लेखे एटी में होने पर्ने त अच उ We have so many things to do. In 1967, ma, Marvin Minsky le, the uh, Dartmouth Conference ma kya banwa thi. Within a generation, he was convinced. Say, sabhi kuro the hola artificial intelligence banwa thi. Upani the, I mean, le full phase le nisa kida thi. No, no. Or ko super intelligence ko ay 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 manusakya le upani he also told very nicely. Uh, super intelligence version one, two, and zero. There's no clear threshold to be crossed to be super intelligence. You say, I like I like to recommend. I am no kitab. Say, my bhakti parishe se kya human compatible one. I start Russell le lekh no kitab. Very new new one. One year so much ago. So this match you want to you can only do the ganu way ko chha. But they Nick Bostrom ko chhe jab unle super intelligence bani sakhe pachi. टेक्निकल को टेक्नोलॉजी को जमात में एक्सपर्ट को बीच में होता खेल उन्हीं इकोनोमिस्ट मैगजीन में लेखी थी तेरह थ्री टाइप्स अफ बट वन बट फॉर्म अफ डिनाइल के बने दिस कैंट बी अ रियल प्रब्लम बिकज अफ कारण अर्क फॉर्म अफ डिफ्लेक्शन के बने रे तैंक भोइस के थी अरे Problems are real, but arguing that we should not try to solve them. You know, all the civilization line, the top of the queue, and the orco voice theory, and orco to tesro voice key theory, the tesro but key theory, but hey, but can't we just do A B C? But first, orco pura garo, you know, super intelligent jani. I'm simplify pura garo, na bhanne puro chahi. Nick Bostrom ko jun book aye sakhe pachi economist ko review maate, aye ko technical or community ko voice theory. ये कुछ मैं फ्लोर एंड माइक्रोफोन टू आवर अंडरेबल डिपार्टमेंट हेड सर डॉक्टर बालकृष्ण बल सर फॉर योर व्यू एंड अल्सो द कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क्स एंड अल्सो थैंक यू टू अल आवर पार्टिसिपेन्ट्स अल आवर स्पीकर्स एंड अल आवर वेल विशर ओके बल सर नाउ द माइक्रोफोन सर थैंक यू थैंक यू मनीष सर सब जाना फिर एक पटक नमस्कार सर ने आज एकदम थर्ड प्रोविंग डिस्कोर्स 
เซนต์ตะลอนุบาคอนทราบเรื่องนี้ว่าขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบคุณมากขอบค
don't go outside even if you go outside put the mask okay and stay safe and we'll meet definitely very soon thank you very much have a good day and our student like uh, mr janberti and others so we'll be here for some time to discuss about this one so others thank you very much thank you very much